we return to where we left off. For some reason, the door to the wardrobe shot open. So now we have a one and a four. So we've got a two and an eight and a one and a four. As I was saying about the lock here, when you go to pick that lock, I couldn't figure it out at first when I was first playing this game. You put the pin in and then you move the pin over and then suddenly, oh, you know, it stops working. And so you put the pin in again and you move over and, oh, it suddenly stops working. I th and when you move your mouse up and down a little bit, the pin doesn't move back and forth at all. The pin just goes straight left and right and never, there's no vertical movement at all. It's not even like it tips or anything. And so it doesn't quite come across that you're supposed to not have your mouse touch anything in the little box. I think if he had, if he had tied the, uh, the tip of the pin to your mouse, such that as you're moving and then you go down, the pin tips downward and shows it moving like that, that would have much, that would have uh, greatly helped understanding of what exactly you're supposed to do in that situation. I found a scrap of paper with some arrows drawn on it. Up, up, down, up, down. Left, right, left, right, BA start. 30 lives. All right, so three and five are down. And we already know where we're going to use that, and that would be on the five or six pins on the five pins on the jewelry box. I found a coat hanger. There's nothing else in the wardrobe, despite the fact that there are very prominently carved numbers in the wardrobe. Oh, you scare the crap out of me. Let's use the coat hanger. I unhooked the latch, and it suddenly went still. Ooh, hey, it's a grummy bathroom. A waste bin and a toilet brush. Hmm. Bleach and toilet rolls. By toilet rolls, I guess he means toilet paper. I found a small key in the dirty water. I already live like a dirty hobo. Putting my hands into filthy toilet water doesn't even give me a pause. So we head back in here. Not in here. In here. No, not in there. In here. Yes. So we put down this one and this one. And then we have to use the small key we found in the toilet. <gasps> the jewelry box has been unlocked. I found an ultraviolet light bulb. Okay, well we do know where there is a lamp, so let's put the... Oh, and let's take that. Apparently I got hit at some point. I placed the bulb into the lamp. The TV suddenly turned on. For no good reason. And now we have a three, so we've got a two and an eight a 1 and a 4, and a 3 and a 1. So to put those in order, it would be 4, 8, 1. And now we know the combination. 4, 8, 1. That actually just made my heart jump with the door flying open like that because I was expecting to have to click something else. I found a key. Now here's the one screen I haven't showed you yet. That's the front door. And previously it's been locked. This looks like the front door. It's locked, but now we have a key. Ha, ah, you're dead. The garden is surrounded by a brick wall. Who did this? What kind of madman puts a wall around his property? I just don't get it. It's a post from what used to be a fence which is now superfluous due to the extremely prominent brick wall. Inside is the room with the fireplace. Ooh, look at we're in another house. The floor is cluttered with rubble and junk. And there's another useless syringe. I found a large sheet. It's a toolbox. I'm not sure that I need any tools yet. Yeah, God forbid in this type of survival horror game or problem solving horror game I I grab stuff that might possibly be useful in the future that would cut down on having to backtrack the door handle is missing this door does nothing I guess hey look at this house is not total crap like the last house 
I could climb out this window, but it's locked by a pentagonal safety catch. I close the music box. The tiny moving figurine inside creeps me out. The drawers are filled with children's toys and clothes. A radiator. A pillow. I found a large sheet. I have a clean sheet and a dirty sheet. Let's combine them. I've tied the two en the end of two sheets together. It, this looks suitable to tie my rope to, but I need to open the window first. If only I wasn't a total tool and just grabbed the frickin' Allen wrench while I was down here the first time. At least the exercise going up and down the stairs will get me in shape to take on those damn brown things. The door is missing a handle. Was there a handle somewhere? I don't see a handle anywhere. Ooh, hey. This ain't clean no more. Boom, the window's now open. And it looks so pleasant outside. I tied my makeshift rope to the radiator. I can now climb out the window. Welcome to outside. According to the sign, this place is called Borley Court. This part of the gate doesn't move. The part on the left looks like an entrance. That is how they decided to get you to click on the right part of the gate in order to go through. Rather than just have that part of the gate, like, open or very prominent. For example, this part right here definitely looks like a small gate through the larger gate. But no, you have to click over here to go through. Die. Oh, man. The end of the tunnel is bricked up. That is a really good brick job, because I don't see a single seam of mortar anywhere. It looks like a control box for electricity. I'd better not touch it. I clicked really fast there. Let's go back real quick. Okay, so I don't know what this is. A light is mounted to the wall. It doesn't seem to be working. Wow, is that thunder really loud right now. So then I click over here. And I just click again. None of these washing machines appears to be functioning. But if you click on this side, you can open up the door and... I picked up the stomach. It's a human stomach. It feels like there's something inside it. Who am I that I can differentiate a human stomach just from seeing the stomach? I found a key fob inside the stomach. It's for Flat 2, which automatically identifies this as an English game. Or at least a British game, because we don't have flats in America. I close the washing machine door because I'm a conscientious neighbor. I then backed out into the hallway to look at these things. It accepts coins. Shame I have no money. The second clue that this is a British game is that this requires 50 pence. And we also don't have pence in America. There's nothing in here. There's only one drink available. And it's the orange one, and I like orange soda. This vending machine is out of order. You're out of order. All right, let's go inside the door. The door is locked electronically. There are numbers of various flats listed. Well, let's use our key fob. I unlock the door. The locking system seems to be broken now. That way we don't have to worry about it later. At least we got... Whoa! Okay, so we're here, and nothing clicks. So we go upstairs. And we're here, and nothing clicks, except the door. There's a lift, and flat number two. We also don't have lifts as such in America. You can have a lift in an industrial sense, like a freight elevator, but not the elevator that normal people use. Alright, let's unlock the door. Well, let's see that the door's locked. The door is locked electronically. The key fob I found should unlock it. Buckalink. I unlocked the door. The locking system seems to be broken now. That way we don't have to worry about it later. There was a hole here. It's gone now. That's what that says. Very difficult to make out, but it is possible to read that. Which makes it really nice that they added this whole 
click to read it. The door won't open because a thick chain is stopping it. Like all apartments, the door opens to the outside. Ooh, okay, this apparently is a bathroom. Want to advertise here? Call this number. Waterfall Advertising Limited. The number 300 is highlighted in blue. They must have loved that movie. I don't need this medicine. Hmm. I should replace the fuse before putting the case back on. The fuse is missing from the plug. The screw belongs to the plug. I'm gonna stop the video here real quick, and then we'll continue in the next part. Bye!